Hello there and welcome to EDL 690 Educational Research Seminar. Um, I'm your instructor for the course, Michael Barber. I'm the Director of Doctoral Studies here in the College of Education and we'll get a chance to meet during the first class but I wanted to prepare this in advance so that I could go over what was in the syllabus and things to highlight in the syllabus so that way we didn't have to spend time focused upon it in class and as I go through you'll see why I wanted to get this done in advance. So looking at the um, first page of the syllabus, a lot of the information here is fairly standard. You'll see on most of the syllabi that you probably have had as part of your time here at Sacred Heart University. Um, a couple of things I will mention, you'll note in the contact information there, uh, you'll see that I have my email listed and email really is probably the best way of getting a hold of me at most times. Um, as you'll see throughout the semester, I tend to be fairly responsive and fairly prompt in responding to email queries. So uh, feel free to use that. As well, you'll note that I've got my cell phone there. One of the reasons for that is because I do work um, outside of the office on a regular basis. Uh, as well, it provides you with the opportunity of contacting me outside of office hours. So you'll see that my cell phone is there. Feel free to use it uh, whenever you feel uh, that you've got a question that you don't want to wait the time for email to respond. You'll also note that I've got my Skype account there. Uh, feel free to download if you don't already have Skype on your computer and if you do already have it uh, to add me as a contact there. That way if you see that I'm online you know that you could uh, have an audio or video conversation or even just shoot me a quick message and if I'm sitting in front of my computer I'd obviously respond right away. So beyond that you'll see that um, you know, the regular course description is there, a little bit of background to the course, uh, the course objectives, which, you know, are all standard things that you should see in every single course. On the second page, you'll see that there is a research sequence that is there. And I want to mention a little bit about this because as this is something that is new to the Farrington College of Education, or at least the Educational Leadership Program, um, some of you will be doing all three courses in this sequence. Others of you will be just doing the final two courses in this sequence. One of the things that we've noticed over the years is that um, having just two courses for the research sequence was essentially not producing the kinds of thesis is that we were hoping to um, achieve, particularly when it came to uh, students' knowledge of and ability to review the research, as well as understanding what had been written about their particular topic. So what we've done is we've introduced a new course, EDL 689, a review of educational leadership literature, which about 75% of you have already taken. Those folks that took this course did so with me during the spring semester. However, about 25% of you, be, you began the program prior to this change in the course sequencing. So um, instead of doing 689, you actually did a second internship as part of your six-year program. So because of that, you are now taking just 690 and 691. What that means is that the first couple of classes, essentially the first three weeks or so of class, will be focusing upon things that look at the literature review, other words, things that some of your colleagues have already taken. Um, the idea is, is that by the time we get to uh, the methodology portion of the course, that essentially you're all up to about the same point, which should be the third time that we meet. Um, following through into 690, uh, we go into 691 in the fall, and you'll take that with me as well. So essentially you'll be with me for all two or three courses, depending upon how you sequence this. And uh, we'll continue on with that. So in 689 or in the first couple of weeks of 690 you'll write your literature review which essentially is your chapter 2 of your thesis. In the rest of 690 you'll be writing chapter 3 of your thesis as well as starting with chapter 1 of your thesis 
and then in 691 you'll actually be collecting the data for your thesis and writing chapters 4 and 5. So looking at the text for the course, uh, there are two texts that focus upon um, the literature review and for those of you that have done 689 you've already got these and have already gone through these. Uh, for those of you that are starting this sequence with 690, you'll need to get these relatively quickly because you'll note essentially we review all of them in the first three weeks of the course. Uh, the third textbook is Creswell's Educational Research, which essentially goes through and talks about planning out a research study from beginning to end. Um, and that'll be sort of, you know, the main focus of 690. It's what most of the content of 690 will be. So as we're going through the course, there are a number of different assessments that you'll have, assignments that you'll be responsible for completing. Uh, the first is a journal article review. Then we move on to the literature review. And then we start chunking up the parts of essentially your chapter three. So the first part of your chapter three is coming up with a purpose statement, research questions, and deciding upon a methodology and talking about that methodology. The second part that we're going to do is looking at what methods of data collection you're going to use to collect data for your study. And then the third piece of that is looking at how you're going to analyze the data that you collect or your methods of data analysis. You're going to put those three pieces together along with a couple of other things that go along with it. And then also add your chapter two to that, so your literature review. So your research proposal that you submit at the end of the semester will essentially be like a second draft of your literature review or your chapter two, as well as the rest of your chapter three that will go in there. Um, the remainder of this page here, of page three, and for that matter, all of page four, sort of the standard course policies that we have here at, at Sacred Heart University, I would encourage you to look through them and, you know, make sure that you're familiar with anything. And if there's anything in there that specifically applies to you, please let me know. And then once you get past that, you'll see that we've got a schedule for the course, which includes the readings that I expect of you for each class, as well as when we meet, and approximately what topic we're going to be covering. You will note that there is one topic that is listed there that doesn't have a session with it. That's actually in between session one and two, and essentially that's the work that you guys will be doing on your own in between that first meeting and that second meeting. You'll also note that there's an assignment due, although it's a smaller assignment, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in the first class and actually go through and practice taking apart some of those articles or reviewing some of those articles at that time. Um, again, notice that by that second class or the end of the second class, essentially you've now read all of the two literature review books by the end of session two. So if you haven't got those two texts, I would encourage you to order them right away and then to start reading them as soon as you get to them. Um, you'll note that session three is also a little bit heavy on the reading side, whereas sessions four and five are a little bit lighter. That's because session three looks at all the different research methodologies that you can be involved with or that you can utilize as part of your study. So essentially each one of those has a chapter in the textbook, whereas the data collection methods and the data analysis methods, there's one chapter for the quantitative ones and one chapter for the qualitative ones for each of those two topics. And then when we get to session six, uh, it's an article that you'll find in Blackboard as well as just the final chapter that we've got left in the Creswell book. One of the things I forgot to mention about the Creswell book, you'll note that I've selected the fourth edition. If you go to Amazon, you'll note that either the fifth or sixth edition is the most recent. I think it's the fifth edition. However, if you look at the different options that are there, or if you use the specific uh, ISBN number that I think is included up at the top, and if it's not, let me know and I can send a direct link to it. But Essentially, the reason I chose that one is because you can get the fourth edition, a paperback version of it, for relatively cheap. If I remember correctly, it was about $25 or $30. So that was one of the reasons why I selected that, whereas the most recent edition, which I don't think there's been that much in the way of change 
too because I've had both cop both editions and I've looked through them and I don't see a big change uh, but the most recent edition is something like ninety or hundred dollars so um, getting the fourth edition which is like a third of that cost I think is, is probably a, a wise investment and then obviously the last thing that we've got here are a list of other resources uh, mainly these are general research books uh, so books that look at either reviewing educational literature or conducting educational research in a general way. Uh, for each of the topics that we cover, I'll be sure to have specific books and articles that you could use if you were interested in a particular methodology or a particular data collection or data analysis method. So that really takes us sort of to the end of the syllabus. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or call me, and I look forward to meeting everybody, or in the case of the folks I had with 689, seeing you again come class on Friday.